All right, uh, the reason why I'm doing this test is because earlier when I tested the Marlboros from Japan, Philippines, and America, they all contained some sort of radiation in it, and I'm pretty sure it's the polonium they're using in the fertilizer, whether it's dye, ammonium, phosphate, or what, it would seem to be in it. So I suggested the natural American spirit tobacco because I figured it wouldn't contain it. So that's what this test is all about, and straight up, right from the beginning I did the test so all I have to say is uh, there's really nothing to compare they're basically both loaded with it so I don't know if American Spirit is using the dimonium phosphate whether it's the fallout from Fukushima whether it's natural fallout from well not even natural whether they, wherever they're growing American Spirit the tobacco leaves do pull the radiation out of the ground it sticks to the trichomes on the leaves. So is it possible that all the stuff from Fukushima that's been coming around the world and falling on the ground is fallout, whether it's picking that up out of the soil, I have no clue. Only way I'll find out is once I get my Gamma Spectacular set up, which is going to still take a little while, then I'll be able to actually identify the isotopes that are in these cigarettes. Either way, I said uh, to use American spirits because it might be a little bit healthier well I don't think I'm gonna take that back and say that neither of these brands is safe to smoke if they do contain radioactive isotopes you know and the one thing I was gonna say is the American Indians I don't know if they had lung cancer seeing that night the Stats say that 90% of the lung cancers from smoking modern cigarettes comes from the polonium. So the question I offer is, was there a lot of lung cancer in Indians, Native American Indians, smoking tobacco? I don't know, but if that's the case that they, that they didn't, it's possible that they could have smoked tobacco and the lungs cleansed themselves because they didn't contain the pesticides and the pollution that's in our modern cigarettes and the modern environment in which we smoke. October 23rd, 2013, and this is the test on the unopened pack of American Spirit cigarettes. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,765 counts. 5 is the max data point. Average data point, point sixty three. All right, that's in the same spot as I did the Marlboro, so I'm kind of actually surprised what I'm picking up here. So let's open them up and do some readings. I actually thought this was going to contain nothing. October 23rd, 2013, and this is the 100 minute reading on the open box of American Spirit cigarettes. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 4,800 total counts, 6 count max data point, average data point is 0.80. Surprising thing is I thought this would read nothing. And that's where I end up putting it is right behind the Geiger counter. October 23rd, 2013, and this is the test on the whole pack of American Spirit cigarettes but I did 200 minutes this time that's 12,000 seconds I got 9,716 total counts 6 count high but the average is 0 .81 counts the average data point alright like the first one I did it just like that so this is surprising. I thought I gotta figure out what this is coming from. 
the gamma spectrometer doesn't get set up for a little while, so that sucks, but there's something in it. This was supposed to be free of radiation because I thought they didn't use the fertilizer, so it's possible this could be fallout. Or maybe American Spirit's using fertilizer that contains the radiation like the other ones, so they're just as bad as any other of the cigarettes that are using di ammonium phosphate. October 23rd, 2013, and this is the test on a whole pack of USA Marlboros, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,475 counts, 6 count max data point, average data point is 0.91. Here's where I cut the Marlboros again. And here is where I got the Marlboros. October 24, 2013, and this is the background reading for the American Spirit cigarettes 100 minutes 6,000 seconds 3,012 total counts 5 max data point average data point as usual 0 0.50 and basically it's in the same spot but without the cigarettes My conclusion on the American Spirit natural cigarettes versus the Marlboros made in USA cigarettes is basically I thought they were going to be a safer cigarette to smoke. In my previous video when I did the Marlboro cigarettes, I rec actually recommended the American Spirits because I thought they wouldn't contain the radiation. I assumed that. But after doing the test, it looks like most definitely there is some in there. Now, I don't know if it's coming from the ground, from the fertilizer, from fallout, where it's coming from, or a combination, actually both. I could only identify the isotopes with a spectrometer, gamma spectrometer, and that will be very soon around the corner. So for this test, it's basically showing me that there is definitely some radiation in there. Now, this is the natural pack. I'm going to seek out the organic one, because I think they got a lot of varieties. The black pack is the organic one so we'll have to see what that one tests to see that one might not be uh, having any trace of radiation in it um, it shouldn't if they're using an organic fertilizer as a manure or something but I have no idea what they're using to fertilize the tobacco plants so uh, conclusion I guess don't smoke any cigarettes now unless you grow it your own background American Spirit, Marlboro, Background, American Spirit, Marlboro, Background, American Spirit, Marlboro, Background, American Spirit, Marlboro.